Tim. Thank you all for being here. Uh, I can't believe it. It's been 13 years and four shows. <laughs> but, I mean, it's been four years and 13 shows. At the house. At, at this house. In this, on this very spot where we're sitting and standing. We and should. one broken couch. <laughs> only one. And only, yeah, only it, one. It better stay one. That's That's right. 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 Nobody jumped off that thing. Thank you so much. You make it too, you're going to go to the local center. Yeah, from Alex. <laughs> He's the biggest one of us, of all of us. Um, well, I would like to welcome Jeremy Hunter to the Yeah, room. yeah. be serious with you guys for a second because uh, this is the last of this happening and it's very it's very hard to, to say that but honestly um, what started out as a very small idea turned into a big thing and I'm honestly glad that it, it's at least started out small again in this you know this show that this is a small crowd and that's what I always love I could play to an empty room and I would be happy, but instead I'm even happier because I can play to all of you guys who are just amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I think uh, the success to all this happening uh, came from two people who became the lifeblood of, of these shows. And the first one is actually uh, Valerie, which is my mom. So if you can please. <laughs> like, since I was 13, I was able to, to go to shows. And it's because of her. She, and not only that, she would take me to the shows, but she would actually like being there. And it always felt great. So it's, I'm 22 now. So it's pretty much been 10 years of this happening. And I, she was the first one, like my brother and my dad really help us with these things, but she really let me run with everything that's happening right here. Um, and so uh, also in light of Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all of you folks. It's really wonderful. Thank you guys so much. And the second person actually um, is Christina. So, if you want to come up here, okay. <laughs> you all can see her, so that's good. I'm glad. But really, she booked all of these shows, and she I wouldn't really have much to, to, to put on here if it wasn't for her. And she's been the lifeblood, again, for a decade also, and she's, she's done so much that I don't know if... A lot of people have really recognized that, but I, I certainly have. It's really changed my life, so thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I have to be that guy. I have to be the guy that claps the loudest in the world. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There I go. <laughs> I want to give the, the mic over to Ryan, and we can start this. I was going to say one more thing. Uh, so, it's a happy time with friends, so I'll make this brief, but it's important. Uh, how many of you guys knew Gennaro? Yeah. Do you guys know Gennaro? So Gennaro was our friend who passed away a few days ago. And those of you who knew him knew that he was a really... It's hard to describe. You, had to, you really had to know him. Um, I only spoke to him a few times ever, but in those few short conversations, I knew what an intelligent and passionate and introspective and philosophical person he was. And, and seeing my Facebook feed fill up with all these people who only spoke to, many of them only spoke to him a few times, only hang out with him a couple times, and, and each were impacted by him and, and felt the need to talk about him. Um, I don't know. It's sad to lose a friend, and it's not fair. And it's sad, and it's not fair, especially that it was him, because he was a really, really special person. At 18, 19, 20 years old, something like that, he wrote a book called The, World to, the Road to World Peace, Beginning with Inner Peace. So this kid, fresh out of high school, was not only was such an introspective and intelligent and thinking person, but thought these, approached everything, approached the world around him from, this, from a completely different point of view than anyone else I've ever known. 
So, I don't know, keep me in your thoughts. This show's for him. Thank you. <laughs> and that, that's how I count off on this spot. <laughs>
Okay, cool. Also, yeah, uh, give me fluid rods playing this, and he actually plays harsh noise, so you don't do that after us. Uh, so, uh, this is the part of our set where we usually play a rap song, but that's probably not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> it was never but right. five years of doing it, I realized I shouldn't be doing this. This is just not right. Better late than never, though. Right? Yeah. Yeah.
Make sure to stick around. Watch Cal Joy. Watch Fuck Men's Inferno. Watch Eva Blue and Rot. It's cool. Woo! Thank you guys. Holy shit. I hurt my fucking arm. I'm not doing that next time. No way. No way. No way. When I started this band seven years ago, I didn't know.